Hi and welcome again everyone. This is Fida Master Charles Galofre for chess.com and for today's lecture I've prepared to share with you a game that I played a year ago at the World Open versus a master from Florida called Corey Aker. And the theme of this game or the reason why I like to share the game with you is because there were two moments where I had the opportunity to transform my advantage, but because I was not able to understand certain dynamic factors of the position, I couldn't um, win the game or culminate my advantage. So in the game, I played knight to f3. And my opponent chose d6. I played d4. And here he plays knight to d7. Now, just to share with you an uh, interesting opening idea, bishop to g4 is a move that should be considered here because after c4 black has the opportunity to play bishop takes f3 and after pawn takes we have an interesting position already for move 4 because we could tell that black has a much solid pawn structure but white has the two bishops so there's an imbalance and this is a very interesting way to play in the opening Now after knight to d7, I chose to play e4. He plays e5, transposing into the Philidor. Knight to c3, and it's at this point that my opponent made a move that was not expected. He played h6. So the question is put to white, and we have to try to figure out if that's a good or a bad move. And it's very simple to figure out that the only idea that h6 could have is to prevent any of my pieces to go to the g5 square and also for him to play g5 himself. But um, h6 cannot be any better than knight to f6 or bishop to e7. So I play bishop to c4. He played knight to f6. And here I castle. And now all of a sudden, my opponent's mysterious move is made very clear when he plays g5. And I think that this was his idea when he played h6. He expected me to play bishop to c4. He he saw himself playing knight to f6, and when I would castle, he would play g5. And this, I guess, he thought that this would lead to an interesting middle game. And indeed it did, but this position is already losing for black. And that's why it's pretty fascinating and uh, I would like to present with you with um, with the situation and see how you would continue as white from here on. I'm going to give you a longer moment to absorb the position to see if you can figure out how to continue. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.